I'm here with Bradley once again. We're stood in front of the track management switch, or TMS as it's known. Now it's been with us for a few years, quite a few years actually, so it's not new technology as such, but we wanted to be here with Bradley today and we wanted to talk about some of the applications that have been realized by our customers already. So Brad, give us a bit of an idea of what the customers are using it for. So essentially using them for process flow or, or diverting process flow, mm -hmm. inspection systems and yep. tool changes. So high value products, um, diversion systems and inspection systems. Yep. You might want to take it, uh, take it out of the Absolutely, process yeah. flow yep. into a rework station and then bring it back up into the process flow. Yep, sure. um, tool changes when you're doing flexible manufacturing with uh, different product sizes, you might want to bring the tooling out where you manually or robot changes the tooling, then brings the tooling back up into the process flow. Time saving basically. Time saving, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, and of course quality is important these days and as Bradley mentioned, high value products you know, we can't always lose track of them. We need that 100% traceability. So that's, that's very interesting. So, you know, there's lots of options with the mover types and everything else we can do, but we're not going to talk about that too much today. That's covered elsewhere in this show. Um, but what we can do, we can add NCT to the equation, really, where we can include no cable technology, which is new from back office. It's going to be released very soon. Uh, and Bradley can explain a little bit more detail about how that works. Yeah, thank you, Dan. So NCT is essentially induction, wireless induction power to the mover. So we have up to three amps mm -hmm. and comms. Uh, it's important the comms bit because what that allows you to do is to do some processing on the mover itself. Absolutely. Yeah. So the three amps power will power things like actuators, suckers, maybe um, uh, servo motors, little servo yeah, motors. Absolutely. Yeah. The comms gives you the ability to actually control something and send data back to the controller. And importantly, and that's synchronized, It's right? absolutely yeah. synchronous. So everything is synchronous that happens in the Beckhoff EtherCAT world, um, which allows you to accurately process and track progress of product. Absolutely. So as you can see, we've done a quick tour now of the different options. So we're gonna hand over to the next segment. Thank you very much. Okay, so here I am with Anik again. And we're in front of the GFX-A, or Agile as it's known, which again opens up more possibilities when you're doing different types of processes. So Agile, as you can imagine, means it's more Agile. So this is a HEPCO development. This is something that was pushed through with HEPCO. So Alec, tell us a little bit about Agile. Yeah, and, and quite aptly, this technology really is the Formula One of XTS and GFX. When you think about um, speed and acceleration, what we've done is we've basically taken the mass out of the mover. Um, so it's down to 250 grams, uh, which means that we can effectively accelerate that mover at over double the rate of the standard XTS. So this is really about maximizing performance throughput. Um, you know, when you think about a standard XTS GFX combination, you're probably looking what, a peak of about 600 parts about per minute. 600, yeah. And with this, you're probably looking at 800 to 1,000 parts per minute. So it really is at the sort of pinnacle of throughput. Absolutely. So you can see, once again, we've got the full spectrum of options when it comes to the motion that you want to do. So this is obviously high throughput, lower mass products, which actually is quite common. And obviously time is money, so this is a big money saver for our customers. But also we have the full spectrum of movers available. So you've already seen five poles, seven pole, and of course we'll be talking later about larger poles. But Alex, talk us through a bit more of the options that's generally available across the board. Yeah, so you will all be familiar with the standard XTS GFX combination by now, the oval rectangular systems we can do. But you know, what we've done over the years is really sort of continued that development and improvement to expand XTS into new areas. So Dan and, and Brad have just shown you the uh, track management system, which allows switching of movers. Um, we've also developed a high drive system, which allows us to use larger magnets, as Dan just described, to create higher driving forces and larger movers with larger bearings to take higher payloads. Uh, beyond that, we're also looking at hygienic systems, which really moves uh, XTS into environments that we couldn't previously consider. So you think about 
clean down type clean applications down, yeah. for medical, medical um, wash down for your food type applications, or even a septic um, where you're looking at some very sort of stringent uh, requirements. So very specialist materials um, and movers. And then- Well, absolutely. Yeah. So interesting you say that. So on the hygienic solutions that we're talking about here, we have actually, even then, in this field, we have three different levels. So there's the clean down, as we've already mentioned, which is medical. And then in the middle, we have wash down, which is typically food, you know, sort of dairy, food applications, uh, for example, you know, it could be pouch filling and things like that. And then right at the top end, when we're talking aseptic, this is really challenging. So this is taking us up a next level as well. This is really where we're talking about hydrogen peroxide, which is some of the nastiest yeah, stuff. Real on the nasty. So we really wanted to tailor it for our customers. You know, there's a huge mm. range of requirements and we know there's never gonna be a one size fits all.